and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today is the very last day of Boulevard Barrel Age Week, and guys, have I got one hell of a beer for you. This right here is the 2013 vintage of the Boulevard BBQ, or Bourbon Barrel Quad. Now, just like the other Barrel Age beers from Boulevard, this one is not 100% barrel aged, but this is rather a blend. So this is 16% ale and 84% ale aged in bourbon barrels with cherries added. So very much looking forward to this one. And I have to give a huge, huge shout out to my good buddy DJ over at DJ's Brewtube. Now not only did he provide this beer, but he provided every single beer for Boulevard Barrel Age Week. So in a way, you could say it was sponsored by DJ's Brewtube. Man, thank you so much. I have been dying to try this one. I've heard so many good things about it. So you know what? This has about six months of age on it. Let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Right away. Big vanilla. There's big bourbon notes. You get a nice, subtle cherry note in there. It's definitely in there, but it's not over the top. I'm definitely getting some raisins, some dates, some figs. Some plums, just really nice dark fruit. I'm getting some toffee and caramel sweetness as well. I'm getting a little bit of a spicy note from the Belgian yeast strain. Oh, wow. I get a little bit of oak, but not a ton. Again, most of these barrel-aged beers, they don't seem to have a ton of oak, but I'm definitely getting a lot of the spirit note, a lot of vanilla character. Oh, yeah, this smells sweet. This smells so good, and you know what? Usually, I think the Belgian brewers are the ones who do these Belgian styles the best, but this smells incredible. Guys, let's go ahead and check out the taste. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. Wow. That is just. That is so tasty. Wow. Right away, I get that big sweet vanilla right up front. It is huge. It's followed immediately by the big bourbon notes. I'm getting a little bit of oak in there as well. Right at mid palate, you just get that nice big tart cherry. It's not sour, but it's definitely got a little bit of tartness in there. It's so good. It's like a ripe cherry note. And then on top of that, you're getting dates, you're getting plums and figs, almost like a currant type of taste as well. Mm. As it lingers, you get a little bit more of the oak Definitely getting some caramel and some toffee sweetness. It's definitely on the sweeter side. I'm getting a decent amount of that Belgian kind of spicy yeast character that hangs around too, which is really, really nice. It kind of brightens the beer up in general. It keeps it from being a little too sweet, a little bit too cloying, because as sweet as this beer is, I really don't find it cloying, which is really, really nice. I mean, something like this, I think, could definitely get too sweet, and it is not. It's on... The lighter side of full for a body, it's not quite that big full, but it's pretty full. And then it has a very nice, it's actually kind of got a more of an effervescent type of mouthfeel to it, which is really, really neat for how big of a beer this is, but it fits more of the style of a quad. So it's definitely coating and slightly creamy, but then it just has that effervescence that just kind of bubbles on your tongue, you know? But wow, this is very, very good. I couldn't smell any heat. I can't taste any alcohol. I definitely get some warmth as it goes down, but for near 12%, you know, you gotta expect something, and it's not offensive in the least bit. Of course, I'm sure the six months of aging further has definitely helped it, but I can't imagine this was drinking too, too boozy right off the bat. Wow. You know, some beers you drink, and you just think, wow, I have to finish 750 milliliters. And other beers you go, I only have 750 milliliters? And that's definitely this beer. This is just so, so good. You know, 
Those big bourbon, those big vanilla notes right up front are just so tasty. I like that you can get the spirit without the heat. The oak comes in. It's very, very nice, but it's not too tannic. You have the caramel. You have the toffee sweetness. You have that Belgian spicy character. From the yeast, you know, you just... This beer has everything. The dark fruits, the cherry notes. This is just a masterfully done beer. And like I said before, usually... I don't think Americans do a great job of Belgian styles, and this is definitely the exception. So, DJ, again, thank you so much, man. This is such a treat. As far as the rating goes, guys, I am going with a 9.7 out of 10. This is a fantastic beer. It's complex, it's easy to drink, and it's everything that you think of when you hear the description of this beer. Now, I do think that this would improve with maybe like a year, year and a half on it. For sure. I mean, it's definitely one that you can drink, I think, at any point, but hopefully I can get another bottle of this at some point and age it further because this is such a good beer. But I can see it developing even more big dark fruit notes, and I think that even that little bit of alcohol as it goes down, I think that would smooth out a little bit more. So thank you guys very much for tuning in to Boulevard Barrel Age Week. It has been a blast, and stay tuned for more Barrel Age Weeks, Stout Weeks, IPA Weeks, etc. to come in 2014. As far as my musical recommendations, tonight I want you to check out a band that has many, many layers to them, Sleepy Sun and their 2009 record, Embrace. They're a psychedelic rock group, first and foremost. They also have elements of blues, indie rock, even a little bit of jazz thrown in. They're very, very unique, but they're so enjoyable, and I think they'd go great with a big beer like this. All right, guys, that does it for this beer review, and remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. See ya.